All right, welcome back. Another edition of What's Eating Vegas. We have landed at Wahoo's Fish Taco, 7020 West Sunset, one of the best taco places in the valley. Wahoo's Fish Tacos. Now let's go inside and try some tacos. Fish tacos and more. 7020 uh, West Sunset. We're here at uh, the famous Wahoo's. Um, today we're going to be taste testing one of my favorite dishes at Wahoo's. It's the outer reef burrito, and uh, I know the Wiz has yeah, I some wish, fish I wish tacos. there was smell of it, and I'm trying to walk it towards you guys. It smells <laughs> so good. Like, even through this mask, I can smell just how like vibrant the taste is within it. I haven't even tasted it just yet, so I'm really excited. It's time for us. What do you say, Wiz? Well, it's time for the the best part. This is the best part of all the videos. I'm gonna try the appetizer first. It's it's really speaking to me on a spiritual level here. I don't know what this. The spiritual level. Okay, we went to church. Mm, the outside is like. Uh, Pretty crispy, like it's like an egg, like a thin egg roll, probably. Mm -hmm. The meat inside is it's like soft and tender, and there's like some lettuce in there too. It's like a an egg roll that's California style. Probably the best way to describe it. I think the sauce has something to do with avocado. It's a little mm -hmm. spicy. I love spice, so nothing's ever going to be too spicy for me. But if you're afraid of spice, I would say it's not even that hot either. But it does have a slight kick to it, which does help it uh, the taste a lot, in my opinion. Yeah, I uh, I agree. I like I said I. Uh, these are the appetizers, but like you said, when you when you crush them to it, they went we kind of went right to the meat, it went right into the meat, and then when you add the sauce, it almost makes it taste like it has guacamole yeah. on it. It's a great you know, thing to have for the crunchy. table, mostly. Obviously, it's not something you're gonna get probably by yourself, but if you're in a group of four people. There's enough pieces for everybody to satisfy, and uh, it's not nothing over here is overpriced as well, which is also worth mentioning, I would say. So, one of my favorite meals. Or one of my favorite things to have here at Wahoo's Fish Tacos is the Outer Reef Burrito. Um, I gotta say, I've probably had over a hundred Outer Reef Burritos. Uh, every time I come here, this is one of the, the things that I, I get. I'm gonna actually skip the fork. I'm gonna skip the knife. And we're just gonna go right into it. It, it really has a taste to it. It compares to no other burrito that you might have tasted. I've been to different places, and this burrito really separates itself from any other burrito that I've tried. All right, well now it's my turn to convince you to eat the fish tacos instead of the burrito. We'll see if I can do a job, uh, to do a good job of that. I have two different kinds of spicy fish tacos. Like I just said, big fan of spice, so nothing's gonna be a little too hot for me. I got a lot, there's a lot going on here. You saw it in the photo. And I, if you follow us on Instagram, I also post little teaser pictures when we go to these places. So I'm sure you enjoyed that as well. Let me see how this goes. All right, so a little bit surprised. It was a like a teriyaki taste actually, not something you would expect to with a fish taco, but it, it hits you it hits you hard, it hits you really good actually. And there's a lot of like cabbage and stuff going on in here. That's always the, the barometer I would say for a great fish taco. Big fan of that one. I think this one on the right here, or this one I'm picking up now, I think is a little more of a traditional spicy fish taco. So we'll see how that goes as well. And that right there is what it's all about. Spicy fish taco. I think it's just like the plain one that they have on the menu or let's, let's call it. There's nothing plain about it. Tastes are explosive. The fish is very good. It was perfectly cooked. I mean, again, you guys just saw it in the back. So every I, this is my favorite for sure. The teriyaki is great as well if you don't like something too spicy. But the great thing is they also have a, a myriad of sauces that you can also try with all of their food for whatever you want. You can mix and match. Different experience every single time. Fish tacos are 
a specialty item for sure. So if you're looking to come to Vegas for a fish taco, I mean, that's also, I mean, that just speaks to Vegas, right? We have gone to so many different places, Hawaiian places, traditional like burritos, competitors to Cafe Rio. And then we have this as well. There's always something there for us. And that's why you follow KSHP, right? Because we're the ones who are going to connect you with all this. It's hard to just find out about all these things. But if you follow us, you're going to get all the latest news. You're going to get all the greatest spots to go in Vegas. And you're going to get great deals to go along with it. Not much, doesn't get much better than that. Uh, so that's what's gonna that's how it's gonna be for uh, today's little taste testing hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe to the youtube page to find other great content thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time